Hey everybody, Steve at uh, uh, fitnessat40plus.com. Um, I sent you some emails out, and what I did with the emails, I asked about exercise, and you guys wanted to learn some exercises, but the response was overwhelming. And one of the things that I got was the injuries, um, shoulder injuries, um, neck injuries, knee injuries, low back injuries. So what I'm gonna try to do is touch on just a couple of those, and then I'm gonna give you some principles of exercise. But today, I'm gonna to show you um, how to work your shoulders. Some people have shoulder injuries, and I hear a lot about that now. There may, this is not a medical diagnosis. There may be some things I can help you with, though. A lot of times, rotator cuff weakness happens. And basically, people get what's called impingement. Here's what impingement is. It's You'll, you'll know you have it if you kind of lift your arm, you get some pain right about in this area. The pain will go on to about here, and then it kind of goes away when you're over the top. Now, the thing about it is there's no set pattern with that, but generally it starts about 70 degrees, about 120 degrees. Okay, generally, and I'm not going to give you the whole detail with it, but you have what's called the chromium process. It's supposed to have chromium space, sometimes you get inflammation, your humerus is hitting on bone there, it causes a lot of problems. If you don't do anything about it, it could cause rotator cuff uh, problems and spurs and different things like that. So here's how we're going to handle it. I'm going to show you just a couple of exercises today that you can do at home to strengthen your rotator cuff. And this is an area that doesn't get a lot of work. So if you have a band at home, and I'm using this one today, I have this set up in my gym. If you have a band of some sort, here's what you do. You straighten your arms out, okay? Your hands are gonna go higher than your shoulders, watch. Just like that. And a lot of my clients do this very thing in these movements, okay? 12, 15 reps, all right? Now, follow that up. Over here, got a bunch of junk in the way, I'm sorry. Kind of shooting this on the run in between, shooting this on the run in between appointments. Here's what you do, face down. Chin on the pad, thumbs toward the ceiling. What you're gonna find, a lot of people can't do it, a lot of people can't straighten their arms. If you have healthy shoulders, you'll be able to straighten your arms, thumbs, nice controlled, up and down movement. And you'll feel these. If you have a weakness, once again, 12 to 15. As you get better at that, you can grab little tomato paste cans, six ounces. You can use those, so that might help you, and you can use that in a lot of different ways. That could be helpful um, to figure it out. Uh, hold on, somebody left their phone in here. I don't know how to silence the phone. Okay, so somebody left their phone. I had to put that, shut that off. So, another way. Now, give you one more. Take your band again. Take your hand, hold one. If you notice this angle, look at the angle. Not here. Angle's here. Not here, here. Right? Okay? You're going to externally rotate. Boom. Just like that. Now, let me show you a little trick here. Take a pad. Put it under your arm because there's an artery, artery, yes, artery that feeds blood. And so you don't want to shut that off. This opens that up. So what I do is I do my external rotators. That's how you work on shows. One more exercise. Once again, 12, 15 reps, couple of sets. Do these things a couple times a day to begin with and you'll notice if you have rotator cuff problems, it'll go away within um, maybe a week or two. One more, elbows higher than your shoulders. Walk through and hold. Stretch the pecs, okay? That's it for the day. We're good to go. I'm gonna shoot another one on knees tomorrow. I'll be in touch with you. Until then, signing off.